Hello, my name is Joe Sadowski, and Kathy and I have been a member of St. Bernard's Catholic Church for the, over the last 30 years. And we're here to kick off the Pave Your Way campaign. The world, our country, and our parish has been coming out of the pandemic known as COVID-19. During the last 15 months, we have not been in a normal way of living our lives or our faith. We as a parish have gone through full participation, an empty church, a masked social distance church, and now we are headed toward full communion with each other. During this time, our diocese has undergone a United in Hearts campaign, which saw 80% of our parishes reorganized with new pastors. And here at St. Bernard's, we are no different as we are starting with a new pastor. Like many organizations, we have felt the financial burdens of closing and, re and now reopening. To that end, we are assessing our current and future financial needs and need your help. To properly address this situation, Father Bauer has empowered a committee to re recommit our ongoing support, aka collections, and improve our, to our facilities and to continue to provide a sacred and safe environment for us to gather and worship. My name is Jane Livenguth, and I've been a member of St. Bernard's Parish since 1986, and I'm currently a member of the Parish Council. As you can see, it is essential that we as a parish family come together to support each other in making St. Bernard's fiscally responsible for the current and future needs of our parish. Soon, every household will be contacted to help us determine how we pay our ongoing expenses, as well as how to build up the capital funds needed for the upkeep of our facilities. Our immediate concern is the need for a new parking lot. We now have an official engineering report for the project, and all of the estimates from that report are approximately $500,000. Two weeks from now, other parish council members will explain how we will do this. You will be receiving requests for pledges to support this project, in addition to your weekly sacrificial offering. Any pledges that exceed our goal will remain in the asset replacement fund. From now on, the parish will also be tithing a certain amount toward us asset replacement to ensure that we will be prepared for our future needs. As Catholics, we have an obligation to attend Holy Mass on Sundays and Holy Days of Obligation, to teach our children the faith through religious education, to proclaim the gospel, and financially give to our church to support the daily expenses and capital projects we face, to name a few. One of the ways that we do this is by maintaining our parish facilities and grounds. These obligations require your financial backing if we are to make, if we are to be a viable Catholic community. It is vital coming out of the pandemic we recommit our pledge with your personal commitment. Our Finance Council needs to assure our parishioners that we are meeting the day-to-day -day expenditures as well as the current and future projects to enhance your parish. We are so grateful that the upgrade to our bathrooms in the gathering area, the new artwork and screen in the gathering area, and the HVAC unit for the gym were all donated by members of our parish family. Our current need is beyond individual giving. The parking lot will take the effort of each of us to participate financially to get it done. We are all in this together. We are looking forward to working with you to accomplish this task. Thank you for all you are doing to keep our parish running smoothly with your time, talent, and treasure. Hi everyone, Father Bauer here, here to talk to you all again about the Pave the Way campaign. I uh, want to really thank Joe Sadowski and Jane Leibenguth, who are two members of Parish Council who spoke uh, at this weekend's Masses. Uh, they're great examples of the beautiful people in our parish. Joe and Kathy Sadowski, they've taught confirmation uh, for about 20 years. They've been involved in all sorts of ways at the parish. Uh, Jane Leibenguth, everybody knows Jane. Uh, she's taught First Communion and Religious Ed for years and years and was a teacher in our school. Uh, they're great examples of this project not just being about finances. It's really about our entire mission as a parish, paving the way uh, for future generations to come to know Christ uh, through our parish family. Uh, so I want to thank them for that. I also wanted to just take a moment to explain a little bit about uh, why we need to do the parking lot. As you guys know, uh, we've been talking about the parking lot 
for a long time, uh, long before I ever arrived here. Uh, the urgency comes from the parking lot because costs continue to rise. Uh, using a lot of petroleum-based products, uh, the costs are expected to rise. Uh, also, when we took our engineering report, uh, we discovered that the subgrade of our parking lot is extremely deteriorated. Uh, so the longer that we wait for the project, the worse that is going to get, and it's only going to raise the cost more. Uh, so there's a pretty strong urgency to get the parking lot done now rather than later. Uh, so I just wanted to explain that a little bit. Uh, as Joe and Jane mentioned, uh, in a couple of weeks, more parish council members will be at Mass uh, discussing our strategy uh, for how to carry this project through co for completion and also to be financially stable for the future so we continue to serve the people of Montgomery County, striving to bring all souls to Christ and His Church. Really appreciate all that you all do for our parish, and thank you for prayerfully considering supporting this campaign. Thank you and God bless.